I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your bullish bit brought to you by the Bitcoin 2022 conference in Miami Beach, Florida, April 6th through 9th. You can grab your tickets now at b.tc slash conference and use code BTC Sessions for 10% off. We saw earlier this week um, the GoFundMe. Some funds were released to the people running the GoFundMe, but right now, last I have heard, uh, it's currently, it's, it says it's under review, but effectively the funds are not being moved at the current time. Uh, and my understanding is they're doing a review of the terms and conditions and seeing if all, you know, where funds are being allocated. Basically, long and the short of it, a bunch of people donated money and that money currently is unable to be moved. Uh, and so, you know, obviously as Bitcoiners, we kind of see this, we've been seeing this type of stuff for years. Um, and well, here's an, an example of where Bitcoin does not have that problem, where uh, when you send Bitcoin, it can instantly be in the hands of those that you send it to. And so Hong Kong Coddle was born and created a, a page on something called TallyCoin, which is uh, really awesome. It's effectively, um, it allows you to create a fundraiser uh, and either use a static Bitcoin address, an XPUB, so multiple addresses uh, for each transaction, or link to your Lightning node and receive Lightning transactions. So that's exactly what we did. We have a steady stream of people uh, contributing. Effectively, this is a fundraiser that was able to take place that the moment you send the money, it is in the custody of the people actually organizing the fundraiser and cannot be held captive by a platform. 